Hello there. My name is Susanna Bates and um, I want to welcome you here to my home here in North Saanich and my studio is called Greenwood. Well, for obvious reasons. The Greenwood helps us to become peaceful, grounded um, and I so appreciate living here. My art is encaustic and I'll talk to you a little bit about what that is and what that all means. So what is encaustic art? Encaustic is one of my favourite ways to do art because it is literally playing with beeswax and fire. Yes, fire. Um, all my work is pretty abstract really. I'm not trying to be too perfect or representational. It all is uh, textural. It's all about layers. For the longest time, as long as I've ever done any kind of art, my work has been collage. Now collage is when you stick layers of things on top of each other. It could be paper or fabric or whatever kind of media you're busy using. And I see encaustic in the same kind of way. It's layers on layers and often you don't even see what's underneath. I guess it's a bit like our own lives where we are such layered people with so many things happening to us and so much is put on top and sometimes you let what is underneath shine through and sometimes you can just cover it up um, and it's not for everybody's uh, consumption. So here we have some very sophisticated equipment no, not sophisticated at all. The tools of the trade, or for me anyway, is a normal pancake griddle. You can pick those up at the thrift store. And then a plumber's blowtorch. So what we do here is take the layers of beeswax painted on and each layer is fused to the one underneath uh, with some kind of heat. Some people use a heat gun. I prefer to use a blowtorch. So, of course, the main ingredient in encaustic art is beeswax. And this is filtered to take some of the debris out of the, the beeswax. And this is super filtered. Um, and I purchase blocks like this to do my paintings. I also use some of my own beeswax, uh, which is taken from um, my beehives. About seven years ago, I started keeping bees. And originally I started because well, the news of the day was that bees were in trouble and I felt that I was being so good by providing them um, accommodation. And well, it turned out that bees actually don't need our help. They need us to do less harm so that they can just get on with being bees. But I came to love beekeeping with a great passion. And I would take some of the beeswax um, and incorporate that into my own paintings. Um, I also use photographs in my work, photographs that I take, so it's all original photography and I use a method of photograph transfer. That picture was actually taken in Manitoba. It was the beginning, the very early beginning of spring and uh, the snow was beginning to melt and the view was amazing. Um, you've got the bare outline of the snowy scene and here a bare outline of a windmill. Now I'm not trying to paint a windmill. It's a way to express myself in many different uh, fields and media and um, I have a lot of fun with that. So folks, I want to thank you for coming to visit me here in Greenwood Studio in the beautiful paradise of North Saanich. <laughs>